Americans watching television were puzzled earlier today when their programs were interrupted by an emergency alert message from the White House telling them that their channels would automatically be changed for an emergency alert and that they were not to use their phones in order to keep lines open. This is the message that viewers in Austin, Atlanta, North Carolina and numerous other areas of the country saw earlier today. You said Catherine was looking for me. I said I'd take care of it. So why don't we stay out of each other's jobs? <sighs> How do you know this idea again? We went to law school together. Because it's not a room, it's a residence. Residence in. We go after the ones who convince themselves. Then we had other people on Twitter reporting the same thing. Brian Jakuto, who's in Atlanta, Georgia, got the same emergency broadcast, but again, in each case, no alert message followed. It was seemingly a test run, forcing the TV channels to tune in to the local news station for a White House alert, which never came. Shortly after the alert, WSOC-TV, which is based out of Charlotte, North Carolina, put out an alert, a message on their website saying it was looking into the emergency alert that aired at around 8.30 a.m. on Friday morning after hearing that radio stations and television stations broadcast the message. So the local news channels that broadcast the message aren't even aware that it was planned. So if this was a test, then it wasn't communicated to any of the radio or television stations in advance by the federal government. So AT&T put out a statement to Uverse customers, it seems that this was restricted to Uverse customers, saying that earlier today Uverse TV customers may have received an, an emergency alert notification. We confirm that there is no emergency at this time and we are investigating why this occurred. We apologise for any convenience. So the Atlanta Journal-Constitution called it alarming but erroneous that viewers received this message. So they're claiming that it was a mistake that this was broadcast, the AT&T and Uverse spokespeople. And yet we know for a fact that the White House emergency alert system is completely outside of the control of radio and television stations. So when they want to broadcast that emergency signal, be it real or a test, it's automatic. The radio, the television station has no choice to interrupt or to dismiss or to opt out of the signal if it's directly from the White House, by law. Stations are required by federal law to relay EAN, Emergency Action Notification, messages immediately. So the encoders and decoders are actually installed directly within the broadcast systems of the television and radio stations who have no control, no power to interrupt these messages. They come directly from the federal government. And what's concerning is the fact that these emergency messages we reported back in 2011 in the case of the Plan Alert program, which is the same system but for mobile phones, for cell phones in New Jersey, caused panic when authorities in the state sent out an emergency alert via Verizon, which warned residents that there was a civil emergency in progress and advising them to, quote, take shelter. So then panicked citizens flooded 911 lines with anxious calls because of this test which wasn't supposed to go out. So now we have another example of a test going out amidst a national concern about the Ebola outbreak. The White House is sending out emergency alert messages, quote, by mistake, telling people not to use their phone lines and advising them to wait for an emergency broadcast directly from the government, which never came. And so, as you can imagine, this has caused huge consternation on conspiracy websites. And, you know, I'm not one for believing, embracing every conspiracy, but I think with just cause that people are concerned about this, especially given Obama's remarks a couple of days ago when he said that Ebola is a trial run for a deadlier airborne disease and that this Ebola situation was allowing the federal government to prepare. So now 
two days after those comments, we have this bizarre emergency message from the White House being sent out to people across the country, urging them not to use their telephone lines and to stand by for an emergency message from the White House amidst this national Ebola situation, a message which never came. So is the emergency alert message that went out today part of another trial run to see how Americans would respond? I don't know. It's definitely disconcerting that they would commit this mistake, this mistake test run of the emergency alert system amidst the general concern about the Ebola outbreak. Let me know in the comments below if you saw this emergency alert message and what you think it represents. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for InfoWars.com.